Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership, three string cigar box guitar. This is the Beatles. This is a little help from my friends. And uh, I do have a companion video for this. And uh, thanks for the request. This is one of my all-time favorite songs and just a wonderful song to sing at any function, dinner, barbecue. If you're gigging, this is a great open mic tune. You'll have the whole place singing along with you. And uh, it, it campfire at any moment. This is one of those songs that I feel is a must learn for anybody's repertoire once you start getting over three or four or five songs. So uh, this is really a great tune. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit of it and then uh, we'll break it all down. Mm -hmm. If I sang out a tune, would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out of key Whoa, I get by with a little help from my friends Whoa, I get high with a little help from my friends Yes, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends And then the bridge Do you need anybody? Just need someone to love. Could it be anybody? I just want someone to love. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? And that's the whole thing there, folks. That really is the whole thing. And, you know, if you play it in this little spot, it becomes extremely easy. But I have a one-finger method, and we'll show you that, too. But what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. They're wound electric guitar strings. These are nickel wound, by the way, and they are electric guitar strings. And uh, I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. So what chords do we have in this song? Well, there's a lot of little chords and a lot of little changes in here, but uh, we'll start at the open G, G sharp A. There's an A in this song, B flat B. There's a B in this song. There's a C, there's a D, there's an E, and there is an F sharp. So we've got a whole bunch of little chords going around here on the neck, but it's not as hard as you think. The beginning and the ending, the Billy Shears and the little help from my friends, okay, is one little section. So let's get rid of that right now, okay? That's right here. C, D, E. Billy Shears. At the ending of the song, it also goes... Little help from my friends with a little help from my friends. So the song has an intro and an outro, or an intro and a coda. Okay, so there's a couple of musical terms for you. I use intro and outro. So the intro is C, D, E. And you can look at these dots here, and I just go up and go one, two. Okay, second dot pinch C chord, slide up, stay on the strings, and slide up to D, pinch, you see that dot right there, and then slide up to E, and that's your intro. So it's Billy Shears, and then the song starts, or ends. So, I'm just going to play with my thumb and make it really easy so you can see. I'm doing a dun, 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 dun. You can certainly play it like a strum, but I like the uh, single, single chord shots. Boom, 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 boom. And how I do that is I press and let go, and press and let go. So I press, let go, press and let go. So uh, that's how I, I play this. So it is E, and that's on the ninth fret. What would you be, do, 
and that's in between the dots. So you're on the dot, you're on the fourth fret here between the dots, then you're going to come up here just below this one. So watch how we do this. What would you be, be? 11th fret F sharp, 11th fret F sharp, B 4th fret E, 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 B, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, B, E, chorus, D 7th fret, A 2nd fret, E, 9th fret, D, A, E, D, A, E, 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 B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, B on the fourth fret, E, E on the ninth fret, B on the fourth fret, F sharp on the eleventh, F sharp, F sharp, fourth fret, B, E, ninth fret, D on the seventh fret, A on the second fret, E on the ninth fret, D on the seventh fret, A on the second fret, E, D, A, E. Yes. We're going to come here to this C sharp. Do you need any? F sharp body. Now you're just gonna go two, two, two. I need, need somebody to love. Could it be sixth fret? Any eleventh fret body? Ninth fret, seventh fret, second fret, and then the whole thing starts over. E, E, B, F sharp. So that's how that whole thing goes. And the whole song works exactly like that. But I have a different way of playing this, and it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to do these fantastic jumps. A jump from here to here and here makes you look at the guitar too much, and you can't focus on lyrics or your audience or, or anybody out there, your loved one or the gals around the fire or you're at the barbecue and you want to like look at somebody and put this song out to them. So what I want you to do is learn this shape. Okay? This shape right here is an A. It's an A, and you start out, so it's just like this A. It's an A, and you start out on that D string on that 7th fret right there. 3rd finger on the ninth fret, and pinky on the ninth fret. Okay, that A is a movable shape, just like this can move around, this bar shape can go from E to D to B to A to F sharp. This A can move around as well. So A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B. So this A and this B are what we're going to work with. And I think of the dots. My first finger is on that D string and I'm in this shape, then I'm golden for A. If I come up to frets, and up is, of course, that way towards the box, down is towards the nut. If I come up to frets, I'm on B. A, B flat, B. And I just see that dot, my first my first finger is on the D string on that ninth fret, and I know I have the shape. So watch what I do here with this. Would you believe in love at first sight? Yes, I'm certain that it happens all the time. See how easy this move is? Get the shape. Lay down. Go back to the shape. And this is critical for playing a lot, a lot of classic rock. So you're going to take your first finger, you're going to slide it over to that D string, then you're going to come back up, third finger, pinky, and then with this finger you're going to hinge down to the F sharp, 
Then you're gonna hinge back up, put your pinky down, your first finger, and then you're gonna slide it up again. Okay, if you do this this way, so look at how many moves we're gonna make in here, and you're gonna do this by move. So it's a three move thing. So watch, we're on E. We go one, two, three. Then to get to the F sharp, all we do is release, lay down, one move. Then back, we come swing back up, pinky, first finger, two moves, and then we slide and release, one move. So watch it real slow. get by with a little help from my friends. Yes, I get high with a little help from my friends. Yes, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. And from here, I replace. So my hands are always on the fretboard. Then if you need, do you need jump. I do one of these big jumps, okay? So when I do a jump like this, I look at where I'm jumping to, okay? It's got to be above that dot, and it's got to be below this one. So there's only two options for the jump. Do you need anybody? So what I do is think right there at that fret, and I just make a big stretch. So I'm here, okay? Do you need any? I, I've got to stretch past that one. So I think dot, stretch past the next one, and get to here. But don't go that far. That's how I think of this. Need anybody? And then I slide down. I just need someone to love. My finger goes to the C sharp. Would it be any? Stretch. Body. And I feel those frets as I come across. I want somebody to love. All of these moves will make you a, a better player, also a faster player. If you learn these shapes, you take the time, take the three months to be able to, to work these shapes, I promise you at the end of three, four months, you will be much faster than anyone else. Okay, and it's not about speed for speed's sake. It's about control and movement. So work on that. Work on this song. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm getting by with a little help from my friends, and that's you guys. Do see the companion video. I do have a couple of donation links down below. They're a PayPal and a Square. They're both safe and secure. Used them for many, many years in other businesses, so they are safe and secure. Thank you so much for your donations. A buck a show is all we ask. We're entering the new year. It's fantastic. We're closing in on 11000 subscriptions. Thank you so much. And uh, I told you I'd show you my settings. I'm using a Roland Mini Cube, and uh, on this Mini Cube, I'm using that Brit Combo, which is right up there at the amp type. My gain is about nothing. My tone is dimed. I believe that a uh, three-string cigar box guitar is bassy enough, so I give it a lot of tone. And I, you can see on the reverb delay, I'm on the reverb side of that third, that third notch right there, and I have no other effects. But uh, I really like the Brit combo. I think it's wonderful for uh, what, what we're doing, especially for clean. And uh, this song is just so fun. So enjoy it. Have a happy, happy 2021. Thank you so much for everything you do. Please subscribe. Tell all your friends about the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you.